is um, I have plans for joining me here. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to set up your Amazon KDP account, right? Uh, so I've done this before, but I had to quickly set up uh, an email that I'm going to use for this test. All right, so I'm going to assume that you are just trying to create your account. I mean, this is the first time you're creating a KDP account, so you come to sign up, right? <coughs> Excuse me, and you come to create KDP account because you don't have this account before. have uh, this before okay so you come here you come to create account right let's try something i want to see if i can show windows side by side okay for that more so you are you are trying to create an account let me put this So here you are, you put in your name, let's say Charles, Charles Charlie, okay, you're registering afresh, so let's say Charles Charlie, okay, and then this email that I just created, which is my Amazon test 2020 at gmail.com. Right, create a password for yourself. Okay, enter the password again. Remember to always pick that password that you not be easy for you to remember. So, if you come create and you go to your email, they will send an email there to confirm so you can see verify your Amazon account, copy the OTP. Okay, copy the OTP paste it here oh sorry let's try it let's just type it in 8334 ok enter alright so all these legal jargons 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 that just terms and conditions and all that agree or you can choose to read, right? But uh, it's not compulsory. I read it. Now it's telling you that your information is not complete, so you need to update. So come to update. Yeah, come to update here. Um, you need to put in a phone number, right? They always like to verify phone numbers. So, and this will help if you ever get to forget your login details. So pick a phone number uh, that you have access to. Let me use one here. Um, I'm expecting an OTP. All right, and then I have it. Nine nine one zero three one. Okay, so you get the OTP, and then you click continue. Okay. All right, so now you have to fill in your details. Right, you have to tell us where you are. I'm in Nigeria. Yes, so let's see Nigeria. Your full name, Oba Femi Sola. Just fill in. Your okay, and I said Charlie Charlie, right? Charles Charlie Charles Charlie put in an address fifty six um, don't happen street postal code you need to check the Lagos postal code uh, wherever you are watching this from check for the postal code of course we have the phone numbers so we can put the phone number that I used the other time now you don't need to put the uh, country code anymore because
select how you want to receive payment but let's just be safe let's just put the code here let's be safe now you need to select where you want to receive money into where your bank is of course they can't pay it in your nigeria account so you can't pay it in nigeria account uh, but if you have a foreign account you can put it there or better still click on i don't have a bank right uh, so you can come here to hard to to hard a bank uh, later on okay next thing you need to do is you need to complete your tax information so if i say i'll continue okay, so let me save your tax information okay so there's an error up there so you have to come so this phone number is not complete this phone number must begin with a one to do the national code and the must have to also be dash here okay now let's try again is that the only place okay so let's try to save again Just a minute. Your phone number. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's save now. So it's saved now. Okay, so that's saved. So you come to tax information. You enter your tax information now because if you're running it as a business, like you help other people do this, so you or you have you want to use your tax ID so as a business. An individual if I'm selecting individual am I a US person no I'm not based in the US so they can't charge me US tax are you after that intermediary no less like would it be like receiving payments on behalf of someone or is the money from so I'm not an intermediary so I'll click no okay so tax information that has taken all the details and all something Nigerian because if you're if you're a foreigner and you're working in another country just might affect uh, your your tax as well you know you still have to be paying some I don't know but I'm here so let's say 51 it don't happen arena city Ajegunle Papa state Lagos Z point zero zero two one. All right, so click done. I have a non US team. No, you have to select one. So it's saying that if no team is provided, any reduction of 30% tax withholding tax applicable to your US source will not apply. Okay, so it's asking you now if your country pays tax. So you select the country where I'm liable to pay tax does not issue TIM to its resident. I've applied but I haven't received yet. I could not have not obtained blah blah blah. So I select one. Alright, so just move on, right? Let's continue. Then having done that, you come here and sign, which is your full name, Charles Charles Charlie. Alright, you fix this date as the date you're signing. So you say save and preview if there's anything you want to change there if you're okay with it submit form on the submitted form so you're going to pay 30 percent applicable withholding rate all right um, so this is everything you click exit interview so as much as possible ensure that you check whatever you are feeling. Now having done that, you come to your bookshelf. Right, you can see that that's what we saw initially here that says the account is not up to updated. We learned that they come to your bookshelf. Now it is empty because you haven't processed any book yet. So here you have Kindle ebook, here you have paperback. Always start with the Kindle ebook first, right? That way you can now use whatever you are used for your Kindle ebook for your paperback. It was a book title How to Create a Let's just publish. How to publish publish a book on Amazon using OBS as screen recorder. Screen recorder. Okay, so who is the name? Well, who is the author? So you need to pick an author name. So let's say uh, to be share 
that I own your copyright and I hold the necessary publishing rights. So you always have these things here. So you can always put your cursor here to read what it means. Choose this option of your book is under copyright and you hold the necessary rights for the content being published. Or select this option if you're publishing a public domain book. Keep in mind that the duration of copyright varies between countries and regions. So if your book is in the public domain in one country or region, but not in another, but in the your territory, right? So you can say, yes, I want the rights to this, if you're clear. Then you select keywords, keywords like Amazon, keywords like books, keywords like uh, publishing, keywords like um, curate, right? So just keep selecting like that select categories as well so for this sake let's just select uh, or let's just they have not classified book okay? there that's one you must select at least two at least two in fact at most let's put it that way at most two categories all right so let's go we're selecting one here now this is asking if you're ready to release the book now or you want to put it like right to release here is if there's an age range for the book, no age range, so that means anybody can write the book. So you come here, save and continue. Now it's time for you to put in the content. So say please read our content guidelines. So there's a called digital rights management. Now what does digital rights management mean? You just bring your cursor here. It's intended to inhibit unauthorized distribution of books. So do you want your book to be distributed without your knowledge? It means I can get the book um, for it and all that. No, I won't keep the book. Uh, I don't want them to lend it out. All right, so um, I'm enabling. written Amazon so let's just do something let me quickly create one uh, because I give you just any one now I won't be able to use it again if they get to publish um, word word document word document okay so this is word document so let's just type something in it and I will save it and I will upload to see what we're going to have publishing Amazon has become interesting. You can sit back at home and be your own publisher as an author. Okay, as an author. Okay, so let me stop there. Let's see. I think there's a number of work actually that you can do, but let's see. Amazon book, Amazon training doc. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we have. Upload manuscripts. system yeah so it's going to give you templates to use so you can choose so click continue so they have gallery they have pictures from your computer you want to use if no you come here don't use pictures you come here to see how to publish a book on amazon so different uh, templates let's pick this preview using OBS as kind of yeah so uh it's loading trying to update it to what we have asked for basically so i think we are fine with this submit we ask it to submit okay 
so it has submitted now right so let's see what we have here this is still processing it's also processing so we wait for the processing to you know finish okay this has finished processing the internal document is still processing all right while we are at it we can come back here to check to confirm bank fees and all can always go back to edit your bank stuff when you finally have it all right we are converting our file let's see if we can move on while we wait for them to finish converting so it's processing so it says kdp is processing your manuscript and book cover and of course the number of steps is done now let's see what we've got okay so now you need to select your pricing you need to select your pricing so you come here uh it's so this talks about kdp select where it allows you to reach more readers all right and maximum your source potential so click this you can read this instruction here it's exclusive to to kindle now you want to spread across all territories so this is royalty and price now royalty and price means what royalty uh, comes to you and which goes to amazon so you have the 35 percent royalty and what that means is your pricing for the book must be between 0 0.99 and 200 so let's start picking 99 dollars for example and what i'm going to be getting is um, $34.65 right but if I pick the 70% the 70% uh, royalty plan the least I can have is 2.99 and the highest I can have is 9.99 so let me pick 9 all right let me pick 9 because already it's calculated based on 70% so usually I pick the 35% I think it's five percent uh, sharing formula. Now this is this is more enjoyable if you're doing paperback. All right. Now if you want to allow lending, you can, you can lend for a period of certain number of days and then return. Now I don't want to allow lending, so you, you know terms and conditions. By clicking publish below, I confirm that I have all the right necessary to make the content I'm uploading available for marketing, distribution, and sales in each territory. I have indicated and told you that I am in compliance with the terms and conditions. Yes, yeah, so go ahead, click on publish. So now it will be rolling, telling you it is saving. So let's wait till it is done. So once that is done, it tells you what the user is asking you. Note something here. And it's asking you if you want to start your paperback. But we are not starting paperback now. So you close this and you come here, you see your book on in review. In review it means is in review and then subsequently they'll send you a mail when they are done so with that we have come to the end of how to publish a book on amazon using obs as screen recorder so i'll update this course as soon as it is so the next thing you get is like is that proof or there if there are issues they'll get back to you to tell you usually it takes about 72 hours or less for you to get your book approved all right so uh it's like come your way again have fun go out there publish your books and be your very best be an author that is known subsequently i will share with you how to create paper which is pretty simple although the only difference with paperback is that your content has to be in pdf format it's going to be in doc or doc x then it has to be properly formatted and of course your cover design which is the front and back now must pay attention to the spine right and must also pay attention to the isbn you must create space for the isbn also the limits there's the minimum number of pages that you can have for the paperback is 23 pages all right 23 pages and your cover page must be in pdf format yes in pdf format in fact i would advise that if you want to publish paperback make the inner content also pdf that way nothing scatters nothing is disrupted all right so thank you so much for watching this bye for now